So here's the car I just purchased. You can see it's sitting. Uh, it's pretty dirty, but other than that, it looks in good shape. It's a two owner. It only has 95,000 miles. And the second owner has owned it since 1987 with 25,000 miles. So you can see right here, I got it for $970 and uh, I've won it. So I will talk to you guys when I go to get it, which is in two days. All right guys, so here's the car. It's been sitting since 2015, but you can see it's in pretty nice shape. I'll do a walk around. Interior's dirty, but it's in nice shape. 95,000 miles. Alright, so the car is home now and I'm going to wash it off. So I just opened the air filter area and this is perhaps the worst air filter I've ever seen in my life. So uh, probably have to replace this I'm thinking. Alright guys, so one tip, if you have salt corrosion like this on your engine, if you want to get it off, take one of these uh, Brillo style pads, dunk it in water and just go over the motor with it and it will take all that stuff off. Unless it's really bad, in which case you might need something a little more abrasive, but in this case, it's doing a very good job just getting this all off. So if we wipe it off after, just wipe down where I did, please. Yeah, you can see a lot of the salt corrosion is gone because it went from looking like that to that. All right, so we just pulled the hard top off and you can see how disgusting the car was being parked under that tree and everything. So now we're going to take a look at how the soft top is before we uh, rinse all that off. So I have no idea in what condition the soft top is in. It's a blue top, which is awesome. All right, so uh, I'm going to pull it up and I'll get back to you guys. All right, so uh, luckily there's no rips or tears in the top. It's a little dirty, but it actually looks like it's in nice shape. The window is a little foggy and stuff, but I can try to uh, clear it out. All right, so the carpet in the back is very moldy. So we put some uh, carpet stain remover on it and now we're gonna use the power washer at it. You can see this section right here, there was a plastic tray on it. So that's how it looked new and the rest of it's pretty bad, so. So you can see there's a big difference now from this section which I've washed and this section. This tail light lens looks like there's bacteria growing in it and um, it's because water's getting in. You can see the other one's fine so I'm just uh, removing it from in there and I'm probably going to power wash all that junk out of there. I power washed this and you can see it's much better now except for the bottom which will need something a little more aggressive to get that off. So some Pine Sol and a Magic Eraser mostly took care of this. It's not going to be perfect, but at least it doesn't need to be replaced. So the tail light is back in and you can see now they look good together.
All right guys, so I just picked up the two keys for the car since it didn't come with any. We're gonna go home and we're gonna see if this thing runs. All right, so I just installed this secondary air filter. Slide this on. And we also got a new air filter here. We're gonna button this back up and then we'll try to start the car for the first time. This ignition has been very stiff and I actually could not get it to turn into the position to start the car. So what I ended up doing is I uh, put PB Blaster in it or WD-40, I forget which, and then I'm actually using uh, pliers to spin it. And now you can see it's getting uh, auxiliary power and stuff. So I don't know if I can spin it by hand, but I'm gonna try to, and we'll see if the car actually starts. Okay, um, shit, nice. It, it did just start. Wow. All right, let's try that again. I wasn't expecting that easy. Okay. Uh, does anyone know how to disable that stupid sound? Oh, perfect. Wow. All right, let's uh, let's get the tailpipe. Wow, this thing is smooth. Uh, let's take it for a quick drive. It is registered. I wasn't sure the battery in it was actually going to start it, but uh, I guess it was. Um, these visors I'm going to fix. Uh, I have these clips. The clips that go in here, you can see on this side, they snap off, so I have those on order. All right, let's, uh, let's see if our wipers work. Okay, that's a blinker. It's the other blinker. It seems to work. Wipers need to be replaced, but they do work. All right, so uh, I don't know how the brakes are. We're just gonna run it uh, through the driveway real quick, just to... Yep, they're very rusty. 